What's up, guys? Just let me turn down the music. Oh, man, my eyes are so blurry. Okay, so this is the World War II mod. Let's go to HQ and start out there. This is the seller instead of the normal guy you got. And then the other guy in the other mod. Here's just a few of the items that you can see today. Emergency rescue. Food. Star. Ocean blockade. That. Pay. Here's the general, right? I've noticed this is incomplete. Who is this guy? Really, it's not in the it's not in World Conquer Three, because these generals are mostly World Conquer Three generals. This is an incomplete mod, so a lot of things are just say name, right? There'll be cutouts, right? This right here. Hold up, there's one thing I want to show you. This, I have no clue about this. Like, I guess this is the like one general you want to buy. No, it looks so weird on your tech. It, um, it looks so weird on your tactical map. This makes me think that I could just keep creating a new version of a mod. Like, you create the like biggest. What do you not understand? Turn the music off, you game. Okay. So, like, if I ever create a mod on here, I just keep adding generals. But, like, oh, this is new version, new version, new version. I also like the idea of local player, a multiplayer with the globals broken. Local. Uh, if you click join, right, you will see that. I'm not, I haven't tried it because no one else has it. If you click host, you get these all these options that say shit. They all have different things that you can do. So, let's say Third Reich, Soviet Union. Again, that's United States and Third Reich. Okay, let's see what the basic tutorial is. The grammar is horrible. Okay, so it's got its own tutorial. Please, I don't want to play. Still stays with the old map. Jesus Christ. Do not get the infantry, please. For your sake, don't get those that first guy. While it may look interesting to click one, don't buy it. All it is, is like if you play World Conquer 3, adding a machine gun that's like fortification to, to a city that you can't move. It's health sucks, you can't produce any more troops. So it's almost like you're about to run out of money, so you just throw something into the fray. This didn't teach me anything, because I don't care. So it's like just throwing this bunker, right? Or... What was that? This is just what the hell. What do you even? What's he click? What's he talking about? What do you want? You randomly clicked vaguely. See, it's broken. I mean, like, parts of it's broken. It's not the best mod. See, I'm, I'm even gonna go out of it, guys. That's just... Hopefully this is recording. I mean, I'm, I'm really hoping that this is not, this is working. Jesus Christ. You don't, you'd think if I didn't want to do it the first time. I don't even feel like showing off the campaign levels. You got all of them. You got NATO, 1950 to 1992. Eastern Front, Axis, Italian Front, Allies. It's WTO, I don't know. I mean, I imagine that's something to do with Warsaw Pact. Okay, so it goes as how you would imagine. Um, to 1945, right? As America. Which then makes you think that the Axis wins. Supposed to. Here's 1960. And my favorite edition. This is. Wait, you also have Libya and Algeria. That's also very. And Morocco. But. 
This is not the Israel mod you might have heard me talk about, but I noticed this. This actually is Israel. I don't know who this man is. This is no Israeli general. This man looks... Doesn't even look Israeli. I don't know about those items he's holding. If you look throughout Africa, you see this this guy. So I'm just going to say he doesn't look North African. Like, uh, like if you were going to make like some kind of general, do some sort of Arab or some famous guy from that nation. Because North Africans do not look that black. They're mostly Berber peoples. Like, even if you go over here and look at the Egyptian general, you will find that he himself is not that black. He himself is not Berber, but he's an Egyptian. Though there's some Berbers that are that dark. Them in the very north are not like that. Then you just got this. Switzerland. I don't know why Geneva is part of France on here. I guess, but then again, it's just being worked on. Italy. I don't think Italy has that in real life. No, that belongs to Croatia, don't it? There's new units that were not in the other games. Um... Find one, I think. Let's click on America 1945. Okay, let's see. So, you, Franco, Canada, trash, who cares? Lands, Japan. Okay, see that? Look at that goring with this question mark over there. Exactly that the Americans had developed a nuclear bomb earlier than we had, otherwise, the Fuhrer would not launch the war without preparation. We persuaded Italy and Japan to fight together in North America, which can slow down many of our pressures. I remind you this time, we have no escape route. We only have one chance. Okay, I like how big it is, right? But, the sheer fact is, they're going to bear down, right? And they're going to conquer forces. But, I don't like this idea. There's no way to invade them. They're fighting Europe. They're going to take so many casualties even getting here. American force is going to really screw them up. Now, there's no way that Italy has even the logistic capabilities to do anything. Germany is stretching it. Japan is stretching it. Is that Albert Einstein? See, like I said, it's not a complete name. It's just his name. I don't know what that is. Some super death machine. Who really knows? Like in the last ones. Who is this unknown dude here? Mr. Random Name. That man there. Let us look at good old our state. Oh man. Very little. I love how the maps just suck ass. I mean naming. West Sylvania. Oh man. I mean I've heard of that. I've heard of that. But... Yeah, that's still terrible. Okay. Uh, I can feel like New York. Like, America would genuinely have issues with New York. They might welcome Italians. I don't know what would happen with German-speaking peoples in America. They'd probably welcome the Germans. So, yeah, I really doubt, though, that you would get this. Maybe, let's say, they get on the beaches, right? And you push your way in and then just overcome them, right? Japan, let's just say they wouldn't get that far. Logistically, they cannot get that far. You have to push the United States right there. Uh, the, you'd also have to push through a good chunk of Canada. So, you know, what's this? So, Spain starts out pretty shittily down here. So, I guess the best they got is to, to take New Orleans. Uh, I cannot talk. Let's just take New Orleans, I guess, for them. Well,. Hold up, let me look some more. Um, Europe, 1945. Load, please. Let's see what's the maximum extent of the third wreck. The fewer plans to, you know what, I, I don't care anymore. Why do we control Carlos Corona? 
that's not even right. Okay, they've been pushed back to... Oh, God, they suck at this point. Lands that were in Germany have fallen, really. I think they were beyond... Where's Konigsberg supposed to be? Right, like, right there. That's the only portion of Germany that's failing. It. Then maybe around here. I'd... No, wait, no. I'm not sure. Oh, they're a threat. But a threat. Nice to see that... What is this? Britain is... Are all the nations supposed to fight it out? Everyone's green. So that means, like, you're, you're like, independent at this point. So what is France is going to fight it out with the whole world? Britain? America? The only... And the Soviet Union's red team. Okay, this is clearly not very good. He's clearly failed at this. Then when an ally is part of... It's just completely green, too. Italy's collapsed. At least they're not green. Well, I will see you guys.